our next professor is Jeffrey Foy from the psychology department, and he will be talking about or asking the question, do others know us better than we know ourselves? Thank you for inviting me to be here. This is tough acts to follow, but I'll try. I'm very fond of questions, and so do others know us better than we know ourselves? Well, to explore this question, I think we need to start with, well, how do we see ourselves? Well, in one study, 90% of professors rated themselves as being better than average professors. <laughs> students, you're no better. 87% of students rated themselves as being less biased than other students. And in my favorite, 25% of people rated themselves as being in the top 1% of getting along with other people well. So these suggest that we tend to have an optimistic view of ourselves. If you will, we tend to lionize ourselves a little bit. In another study, participants were told that someone was coming to campus to sell daffodils to raise money for charity. Participants were asked to predict, are you going to buy a daffodil? 86% of people said, yeah, I'm going to buy a daffodil. They asked how many other people they thought would buy a daffodil. They said that about 56% of other people were going to buy daffodil. So I'm more generous than all of you, right? Now, how many people actually bought daffodils? 43%. Wah, wah. And what's interesting about this is that people's own predictions for their own behavior were less accurate than the predictions coming from other people. In another study, participants came in and they were assessed on different characteristics. They also rated themselves on these characteristics and their friends rated, themselves, uh, rated them on these characteristics. And what the researchers found is that for personality traits like anxiety or extroversion, the friend assessments were equally accurate as self-assessments. They were pretty good. For IQ and creativity, wah, wah, friends ratings were actually more accurate than participants' own ratings for themselves. So, we're biased. I'm biased, you're biased, we're biased. As I think the previous talk illustrated, knowing is only half the battle though. You know this, does that mean you can stop this? Uh, no, uh, because it turns out that when people are aware of these biases, even when they're told about them, they can't prevent them, they still act in a biased manner. So then are we doomed to be biased? Well, in some research, People have been able to overcome these biases when they've listened to others. So maybe we're not doomed to being biased if we can listen to others, because sometimes others may know us better than we know ourselves. Thank you for listening. <laughs> <Some references. laughs>